to Matches 860. With the Friday Savinelli. Today we're smoking some LJ Peretti. Blend number 500. My favorite LJ Peretti blend at the moment. Have kind of a Thanksgiving tale for you. More of a turkey tale, I guess. Back in the early 1800s to the early 1900s, way up in northern Vermont, there were a bunch of turkey breeders. They produce thousands, thousands of turkeys every year. Problem was, the only way they could get them to market was to march them to Boston along the dirt roads. This turned into a big annual event. Farmers would uh, get their kids, go out in the road in front of the turkeys and throw cracked corn on the dirt road, and keep the turkeys moving along. Must have been a grueling trip because it was, uh, or it is, over 200 miles. They could only make about 10 miles a day. Anyway, they'd set out moving these turkeys along the dirt roads. The biggest problem they had was uh, late in the afternoons, turkeys have like this light sensor in them. And as soon as it looks like it's sunset, they all decide to roost at the same time. There are all kinds of stories about thousands of turkeys roosting up in a tree and the branches falling off. Sometimes the turkeys would decide it was time to roost when they were right near somebody's farm. There's a story of them all getting on the roof of the barn and the barn collapsing. <laughs> they did the same thing to a school at one point. Just destroyed it. The funniest story I read There was one covered bridge along the way to Boston. And it took a couple of days to get the turkeys through this bridge because as soon as they got inside of it, their light sensor said that it was time to roost. These farmers would have to pick them off the walls one by one to get them to move. Crazy. But I would imagine once 
once they got the turkeys into Boston, they made enough money probably to live the rest of the year till the next season. They say there was about a 10% loss of turkeys along the way. Predators got some. Then there was always the uh, sneaky housewife that would hide in the bushes or something and grab one of the turkeys as it was walking by. An early form of shoplifting, I guess. Must have been quite a sight, though. Seeing about 10,000 turkeys coming into Boston. Anyway, that's a little turkey tail. Thanksgiving is uh, next Thursday. Not sure if I'll make a video on Thanksgiving or the day after. But I'll share with you what my holiday blends are for this year. Not going through what I went through last year. That was terrible. Thanks an awful lot for joining me. We'll catch you next week.